Next up, Seesaw Do is an organization dedicated to early stage childhood development. Run by husband and wife team, Jeremy and Shonale Purin, the organization transforms township creches to greater stimulate young minds. During her final year of visual communication design at Stellenbosch University, Shonale Purin received one last brief, designed to make a difference. Purin's love for children and illustration compelled her to focus on pre-primary school education and early stage development in her nearby community. And so I ventured into um, a township called Kaiamandi. It's right outside Stellenbosch. And I went to a creche there to see if there are any needs that can be addressed through design. And I went to Mabel's creche, it's called Siakula. And the first thing I realized when I walked in there is that the children, they don't have any, any books in the school. And that quite upset me um, because I feel that it should be a basic human right to have access to books. And so I thought, well, that's one thing I can address. And the second thing, actually, Mabel brought to the table and she said, sure, I have this crash, but it's so dull and mundane. Can't you do something to uplift the space for me? So I thought, yes, that's actually something that I can contribute to. Seesaw Do also produces early stage learning material with two books in their catalogue and a strong drive to develop this further. So at the moment we are doing research to see um, where there are gaps and how we can fill them with um, stimulating materials. So for example, we're looking into puzzles, um, more books that can complement the murals and the teacher's curriculum. So ideally we would like to have an entire package where the murals and the material all work together to um, best um, enhance and stimulate the beautiful young minds that we find in the creches. Seesaw Do evolved from Purin's final year project and during its two years of operation the organization has managed to transform 30 creches around Cape Town. However, this has come with challenges. I, I would say that starting from an early age, do, because long before we never had creches in our community, so that is why the world is so vulnerable because of what happened before. We were only going to school when we were seven, knowing nothing, but today's children that are lucky and fortunate enough to have starting from the grassroots level at the age of three months to six years and then at least they've explored, they've developed, they have development holistically, like they know everything, they know maths, language skills and all you name it. So for them it's, it's very fortunate and it's very important for me as a teacher as well. That's what interests me, teaching the young ones. I didn't know it was so, so good and it was so perfect and I didn't even know that they can understand what you taught them. Tembeka Figlin has been a teacher at the creche for over 20 years and believes that there is a great need in South Africa's townships for early stage development. So it, it depends per center, but usually it's around um, 20 to 30,000 rand uh, for an average size creche to do this whole transformation with. So for future funding, uh, I think they're really uh, how we see how we can develop. Like I said, we're opening also up a, a, a NGO arm which makes it easier for donations and grant applications hopefully to get uh, to support our cause and uh, for next year we really want to focus also on working in Kailicha with the whole year campaign with the goal to aim with the goal to paint 50 centers um, with children live learn and play in Kailicha. Going forward Seesaw Do is hoping to transform 50 creches in Kailicha next year as part of their Color for Kailicha's Kids campaign. Thomas Marie, Cape Town, South Africa. Mr. Tom, one day. <laughs>